this big takes a long time to change when things happen. The biggest change in Lake Michigan has been the light penetration. How far the light gets down in the water is basically measuring how far down plants can live. My name is Mike Montanero. I'm a water resources specialist on the Pelagos. We come out here sampling on Lake Michigan for water quality and do water quality monitoring. Heavy metals, nutrients, microbiology, and a host of other things. I think one of the big changes that we've seen is, especially in the Milwaukee River, Kinnikinick River, and Menominee River, we've seen reductions in fecal coliform, those um, bugs that indicate that there's contamination in the water. And we have a lot better oxygen levels. Well, the fish like it a whole lot more, so they're, they're a lot happier. I love science and the environment and water, so uh, this is pretty much the perfect job for me. Studied freshwater sciences, really happy to have the opportunity to work on Lake Michigan, on the rivers around the Milwaukee area, and work to protect our water quality. So our data sets can be used by different project managers at Milwaukee Metropolitan Sewers District. So we're out there collecting samples before the project happens. Someone can then do a project and we'll go out and monitor after it's done and we can prove that in fact it did change the water quality for the better. We don't care about just one thing. We, like a doctor wouldn't just care about how your lungs are operating or heart. They care about you as a whole. When we're out here monitoring, we want to take a look at the health of Lake Michigan as a whole, all those different parameters, and document any trends or changes that we can show. Water quality is so important not only for people's recreation and livelihood, the overall health of our city and region. It's really fulfilling to be able to work towards those goals and be able to evaluate the health of our waterways. Mm -hmm.